guys, it's me, Crazy for the 80s gal, coming at ya. I've discovered I've got a big problem, guys. I don't know. For me doing all the work that I've been doing with my YouTube videos, installing games, and editing my YouTube videos, I have ran out of storage space. Almost ran out of storage space. Not completely, but almost. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Notice my devices and drives. Notice my C drive has 76.4 gigabytes free out of 930 gigabytes. My E drive has 5.47 gigabytes free out of 465 gigabytes. My D drive has 73.7 gigabytes free of 931 gigabytes. So what I did is I decided to pick up two items. Two. So let me show you what I got. This is the Samsung N B. M E S S D nine sixty M two two hundred and fifty gigabyte solid state drive. <laughs> then I also got this eight hundred and sixty EVO solid state hard drive five hundred gigabytes. So notice this is five hundred gigabytes solid state drive. And this is the 250. And again, the NVMe SSD 960 M2. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to actually open up my computer and be installing these two items. So, in order to do that, I have to get ready to do a little operation. Got to get the gloves on for this one. Remember that game, Operation? That's what I'm going to have to do. I have to put the gloves on. Go in play operation so then that way I can install these two drives onto my computer so I'll be installing them into my computer here now remember guys as a warning always make sure you Shut down your computer system. Alrighty. And don't forget, you must power off your computer system. It's on the back of your computer, normally on the back of your tower. Don't forget to turn that off. Now I'm going to get ready to unscrew the screws. You always want to make sure, like I said, that you ground yourself. That's why I put on the doctor gloves, too. Mm. Oh! Oops, be careful there. So, 
I'll be back in a moment to show you how I'm going to put these two drives into my computer. One eternity later. Okay, guys. I'm back. Okay, got the side panel off, as you can tell. I don't know. It's going to be working my brain here. You know, you got to become sometimes a brain surgeon. But not really. <laughs> to work on these things. But you do have to be serious when working on your computer so you don't fry anything. Oh. You can fry eggs, but you don't want to fry your computer because then if I fried my computer There will be no more YouTube videos for the crazy for the 80s gal So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my computer on its side very lightly um, make sure that you hold all sides so you don't drop anything. So I'm just going to pick it up. Some of them are light, some of them are heavy. Pick it up. Turn it on its side. Might have to take a little bit of muscle, maybe not. Alrighty, so we got that. Now, I'm going to take off the side back panel uh, that has little thumb screws here so you just they're just thumb screws this is the back panel that holds my card in or cards and it's very easy and it just comes out very slightly then what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the power source right here. And it's just a little clip, guys, right here. There's a little clip. Just make sure you don't pull on the wires. Be careful. So un I'm going to undo the clip. I'm going to hold the board just a little bit. Undo the clip. There we go. And then down here, there's a little tiny clip right here that you've got to press down. And when you press that down, oh, first of all, I forgot, so sorry, so sorry. I got to take out these squirrels. Oh my God, I almost messed up. Oh my God, that would have been terrible. I wouldn't have been able to lift it up, lift it out. So we're gonna remove these two screws. And they're thumb screws as well, so you don't really have to use a screwdriver that much. Make sure those screws do not fall down inside of your computer. That would not be good for your screw to fall down inside of your computer. All right, now, again, here's this little clip right here. Don't know if you can see it, it's right there. It's just a little clip. So you push that down. Make sure you hear that.
Okay, now I have that out. It's my video card. I'm just gonna place it over here. I'm gonna actually place it where it doesn't fall anywhere. Okay, now, whew, to actually go about installing this. Alrighty, so what I'll do is that shows the Ultra M.2. So now I'm going to go here and I'm going to grab my solid state hard drive, the NVMe solid state drive. Pick it up ever so carefully. Just a little bar. Okay guys, so now I'm getting ready to place this inside of the Ultra M.2 slot. Now pay attention because your card, if you've got the proper one, will have one notch. As you can see, this has one notch. Some cards have two notches, one there and one there. But if you've made sure that you've got the right card, either by the associate at the store, or if you've ordered it online, that you have the correct card with the one notch. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to move any wires out of your way. So I'm just going to ever so slightly move this wire over. Now, I will tell you this, if you got a shorter card, this would need to be moved to one of these slots here or here, depending upon the size of your card. But mine goes back here, so that's where the screw will go. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to put it in at an angle with the uh, slot and you're just going to Put it in at an angle. And then we're going to put it down. And we want to make sure that that lines up with that perfectly. So then that way when you go to put the screw in, then it'll fit. So let me go get the screw. It's okay if this comes up for right now. Let me go get the screw. Walking over walking over to get the skirt. So here's my little bag. The doctor bag. To play operation. And let me see that. Let's see here inside of my bag. There should be a screw. Oh my goodness. So that's the screw that I'm going to have to use. So I am going to have to take my gloves off in order to do this. So gonna need a little tiny Phillips screwdriver, which is right here. A little tiny Phillips screwdriver. Tiny. Then we're gonna have to open up the bag. Be very careful, guys. You don't want to lose your screw. It 
See, it's tiny. Pick it up. We're going to move over here. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to firmly hold this down with this finger. Then I've got the screw here. And be very careful. Just drop it down in there. It should go down in there. And you want to make sure you don't strip the screw. So make sure you're putting it in there slowly. And you don't have to tighten it too tight. You don't want to strip the screw. Just until it fits snug. Alrighty, and it's fitted snug in there. So now my card is in there. Perfect. Alrighty, and next I'm going to install my other uh, drive. This gets a little scary sometimes when you're doing such intense work. It's a workout, but not a workout video. It's a computer video. So for this part, guys, I have to go on the opposite side of my sh machine. So I'm going to ever so slightly. Pick this up. Easy does it. Do it easy. So now I gotta take off the back of these screws for this side panel. Set this down. Alrighty. So, as you can tell, here is my one solid state drive. So, now I'm going to be dealing with this one over here. So, let me move these wires out of the way. And I'm going to. Remove this, and then we're going to bring it over here. Okay, now guys, you take your drive, and you have to put it inside of the black tray. So we're going to put it inside of the black tray, and of course you've got screws in there that you need to put in. I prefer only to put two screws in on each side. You can put all four screws in, but on my other drive, if you notice, I have one here and one up here. I don't have all four in. So I'm going to take two of the screws. Give me just a second here. Go 
Alrighty, I'm getting the two screws out. Oh. Alrighty, so there's one and there's two. Make sure that it's straight and lined up. Oh. Oh. See, sometimes some things happen. Okay, so I'm gonna screw this screw in. And again, the reason why, um, like I said, in, that I prefer to only use two screws rather than four is it's easier to take in and out in case you have to do any work on your computer or if you wanted to switch anything out. Actually, I'm going to try to do this one a little bit. And again, you don't want to make them too tight, so then you don't strip them. Just make them snug. Yep, so it's snug. Now we're going to go take this over here. Now we're going to have to move these wires out of the way. Alrighty. Now we have to line these little things up. That's done in there. Now I've got what I want to do is I want to take this because if you notice my other cable here, I like everything to match and I don't just want red wires hanging out. So I use this black casing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the black casing around this red wire to make sure that it matches. I'm just going to unthread this here. And then there's a little clip right here. And I'm going to clip, make sure that I clip, make sure that I get this. And you gotta make sure you push it. There we go. Now I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna thread this into here this tubing so then that way my red wires aren't showing so I'm just gonna get this and cap whoop Like a snake <laughs> in its skin. Trying to keep it in there. 
and line it up. There we go. And it starts popping right in there. does take some time um, to get it uh, sometimes threaded in there it might be a little bit tight at first but it'll eventually go in there make sure it's all covered up see all covered up now my red wires won't show inside of my computer slide around here This is my power one. I'll plug that in. There we go. Okay, make sure that I'm trying to make sure that this is adjusted. And you heard it click, so that's a good thing. So there's that in there. Now we should get on the, put the back of the case back on. Good things are coming to those who wait.
Okay, now we're going to put my screws in the back. Back on. One. And two. Now we've got to turn her back on her side now because I have to, let me get the light over here, because I have to get ready to put my video card back in. So we're going to turn her on to her side again. There we go. All right. Now let me grab my video, my video card. All right, my video card. Just a minute, let me line it up. And you heard it snap, so that's good. Now we're going to plug the cable in, and if this is happens to be a part like mine is, just make sure they are together before you plug it in there. So we're going to Plug this back in there. Alrighty, now we're going to get my tray. Screwing in the screws. Almost getting it completed, guys. Can't wait. Alrighty, those are in. Now we're gonna put these in. Might have to grab my screwdriver. Give me just a second. Where's that other screw at? There it is. Alrighty. Perfect. I think I'm going to try it without that. 
for right now just to get it started. There we go. There we go. Alrighty. Now we're going to Alrighty, last screw going in. Yay, Rob. Alrighty. Let's see if we've got everything together. Alrighty. Now. stuff out of my way real quick. We'll just move it over. I've got to be perfect right now. Alrighty guys. Let's see here what we got. Now we're gonna check to see okay well I only see one my SSD one app so that means I'll probably have to go format my other drive so let's go to um,
right. There we go. Administrative tools. Okay, then we're gonna go to computer management. Alright, then we're gonna go to storage. We're gonna go to disk management. Alrighty, it says you must initialize a disk before logical disk manager can access it. So we want to part use the partition and click OK. Okay guys, here's my MBME solid state drive. So we're gonna go to there. We're gonna click next. We're gonna click next. We've already got it there, that's correct. And we are going to name it. And this is gonna be my SSD NBME. I might want to put a two there. There we go. And click finish. Now it's saying select to choose what happens with removable drives. But we don't have to worry about that. We're gonna close that. We're gonna close that. Now let's go over here. And we're going to go to this PC. And there it is. There's my NVMe 2 drive right there. So we know that's correct. Everything is working properly, it looks like. So that was the OK time of the computer coming back on and nothing, thank God happened where I fried my computer. Thank goodness for the doctor gloves and the operation because I don't know what I would have done if the computer wouldn't have came back on. Well, actually, you guys just wouldn't have been able to see me, which would have been, I don't know, just disastrous without the world, without crazy to the 80s gal. But until next time, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video that you guys like the video give it two thumbs up don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit that notification panel so each time that I get a new video you will be notified of it but it's bye for now